What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Today we're working on the scooter again. I'm gonna update you on where I have been. I'm sorry, I know I have not been pumping out the content like I have been in the past you know, couple of years. Uh, I'll tell you what's going on. There's really no problem, nothing bad. Everything is good. Just sort of like a time and an energy constraint. But right now, we're gonna focus on making the money. That's what the video is always about. We're gonna go to Albosh for a $6.75, 2.5 mile run. Let's go. What's up, kids? It's good to see you guys. I have Chaz for DoorDash. Chaz. Chaz? Yes, please. Tell me. Not much, man. How you doing? Right Thanks, guys. Take it easy. All right, they made us wait a second, but we got it. Nice small order. I guess long story short, I got burnt out of making so many videos and I also got super obsessed with day trading cryptocurrency. So that puts my attention onto the iPad like hours and hours every day. And that's also where I do the editing for the videos. So all that screen time was killing me. So something had to go. So I took a break from making videos. But now, like I said, I'm trying to make a comeback in a one video at a time. <clears throat> Let's just finish this order. Okay, unknown location, never been here before. We're going in, so we are definitely doing a quick tie up. I'm getting pretty good at navigating this lock in almost all situations. That being said, I'm all twisted up right here. Um, there we go. All right, easy enough. We got an order coming in. I'm not taking a $6 IHOP order. All right. We got an $8.50 egg tuck order. Should be easy. This place has been pretty reliable. Hi, I have James A for DoorDash. James A. Yeah. Beautiful, thank you. Ooh, no drinks. This place has almost always got coffee or orange juice or something. Gotta like this. Let's go. I worked almost every day in September, and I gotta tell you, business is slow. Those of you guys who follow the Crank Hustle September Challenge, I think numbers were down at least 15% from the last time they did something like that. But it is what it is. Unemployment ended. I think a lot of people stopped ordering food, and a lot of people started driving. So there's more drivers, less orders, but... I've still been able to pull off like a hundred bucks in three hours, but it seems to be getting harder and harder every time. Are you James? Fantastic. Thanks for meeting me out here. Yeah, it's Speed so it up a little bit. All right, bro. Enjoy. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So yeah, with business slowing down, I have changed my minimum requirement. I'm kind of taking orders that are a little longer and a little and a little lower pain that I would usually take just to get what I can get. You know, so as the market gets weaker, you got to adjust to it. But I still feel like I can pull off $25 an hour at least. You know, this last week I had to work at least four hours in the day to make a hundred bucks, but uh, I'm not complaining about that. So two orders down, let's keep moving forward. It's sunny, I don't know if you can see the screen. This is a good one, 1 1.3 miles, 725 Mendocino. Let's go. Jumping. I'm always careful here. This is where I got my shoelace caught in my fucking sneaker. <laughs> All right, we're here. All right, first one, we got it. Great time of day to be doing deliveries. The roads are very chill. Everybody's like semi-passive. It's not like a crazy Friday night. It's a calm Sunday afternoon for the most part. All right, three down, let's go back to the center. Sticking with the routine. All right, we're taking this one 2.1 miles, but from here, it looks like a pretty easy location though. Mendocino, we're already there. Wow, thank you. Thank you. I'm surprised they had this shit ready to go, but we were right there when we got the order. It's a good sign. I 
drop off kind of snuck up on me, but I'm pretty sure it's back here. I'm pretty sure. That was a nice one. It actually paid out eleven fifty instead of the eight dollars as promised. So even though I took like a mediocre job on the surface, it turned out to be a great job. So okay, what is that? Four down already? Let's keep going. What I've been doing recently is working until the battery runs out. That's how I've been running the ship. So I try to keep it in first gear, but some of these DoorDash orders, I go a little faster, it burns the battery a little quicker, but right now we have both apps open, so we're moving slow. Okay, we have a $9.37, 10 to green orders, like 1.1 miles, a very good order. You know, since it's been slow, what has been specifically slow is Uber Eats. Uber Eats is down like 50%. So I'm doing mostly uh, DoorDash orders, which are not, they're not as good as Uber Eats orders, just generally speaking, but this is a great order from Uber, 1.1 miles, nine bucks plus. Again, I can't see my phone three feet in front of me, but I can see that says he's equally on it from a few feet. What's up, Ezekiel? I got you here. Thanks, bro. Thank My pleasure. Enjoy. As far as other things generally going on, um, gearing up for October, November, December, I want to work at least six shifts per week maybe as much as 10 maybe twice a day five days a week i'm not sure the scooters are doing pretty good although each of them has a pair of hydraulic brakes on them with about a thousand miles on them since i installed them and i know i need to bleed the brakes and add some oil or do something to it so i'm going to be putting a few hundred bucks into that for sure pretty soon i don't know how to do it myself ryan's going to give me a little lesson i guess so um, the scooters are holding up really good though the main ultra is closing in on 10,000 miles and this is my other ultra and it is closing in on 4,000 miles so i just continue to accumulate miles on the best electric scooter brand commercially available make your first electric scooter purchase your last electric scooter purchase by dualtron okay a classic order two miles eight bucks california chicken one item let's go hot. i like the way this place has been set up recently i can just pull like right up to the entrance what's the name what's the name michelle r Are you bored without me? Michelle, I have Michelle R for DoorDash. Michelle R. Thank you. Yeah. See you next time. I do want to talk a little bit about cryptocurrency, but I know it's not really like a part of this type of channel. I'll talk about it a little bit, but not much. Maybe I'll start another channel. I don't really want to do that. It's going to be a lot of work, but... And the channels that I watch are so good. So I think the way I started... In, well, first of all, the reason why I'm investing in cryptocurrency is that highest possible returns for the next three to five years. So given the amount of money that I have to invest, if I want to have moved to Southeast Asia money and retire, it's not going to happen with stocks, but it could happen with crypto. So really, I don't want to lie. Number one reason why I like crypto is I view it as the highest returning asset of the past 10 years and probably going to be the highest returning asset of the next 10 years as well. So greed, you know, to me, it's a good business decision. I am 100% invested in crypto. I own nothing else other than maybe a little bit of silver that I got. I believe in gold and silver as well, but I think that uh, that currency is... That asset is pretty flat. It's been pretty flat for a long time, value-wise. Nothing exciting about it, really. I am stuck behind the biggest idiot here. I'm gonna speed it up and go around him. All right, there we go. Boom. I believe we are here. Seven, five, five, four. Oh, we missed it. Shit, behind us. There it is. All right, apartment six with no directions and notes attached, so this might be just to leave right here. Oh, the door's open. Let's go. 
It's a beautiful order, 1.8 miles, 10 bucks in Mendocino. I'll tell you, DoorDash has been saving our ass. I would not want to be just on Uber right now. The old people get their food to the table. We got our order. Lucky us. Uber is slow. I can tell you we've done 50 or $60 at least on DoorDash and only $10 on Uber. I actually just turned off Uber so I could deliver this order at a higher speed just to get it over with. I like keeping both the apps on, but if Uber's not giving me anything, they're just slowing my ass down. Now that we're closer, I went back into first gear so we can go slower. I don't actually want to push the scooter at 40 miles per hour up this hill. It'll eat a lot of battery, but we're close. Thank you, lady. This is going to be an easy order. I don't, I don't know if she left me any notes, though. Oh, uh, I screwed up the camera. She actually came out to get it. Yep, 10 bucks. Nice. We've been working for about two hours. We didn't start till 12.30 today. I had a client to train that finished at about 12.30. It's two hours later we've been working. We've made about 62 bucks. Not bad, but we're definitely entering sort of the slow time as we get later into the afternoon on Sunday, right? So, all right. All right, 1.9 mile, $9.25 from Tartine. We've been there before. Ooh, there's an Uber coming in behind it. $7 from Otis. We should probably take that too. We'll figure it out. Hi, I, I have a Thai. T-Y. Thai. Thank you. <laughs> Zombies. Zombies, zombies. Rah! Fucking man, that was torture. All right, we have this double. I'm not even sure if it's logistically doable, but when it's slow, take a little more chances. So we'll see. Let me look at it. I mean, it's early for this order on the pickup time, so I'm going to swipe arrive. I'm going to turn around and deliver this other order, which is like right behind me, a quarter mile, and then come back. A little bit of cheating. We've actually done a ton of deliveries to this building and for some reason it's just always problematic. I guess because it's so fucking big. This guy doesn't know I'm trying to make a left here. So it's like I called him, I texted him. I'm going to park in the shade, wait out the timer and just leave the goddamn food here. They're not answering their texts. You're not Thai, right? What's that? Nothing. Okay, this gentleman found me on the street. That was good. Now we got to go pick up this DoorDash order from Tartine which we're a little bit late for, but we'll be okay. We're on this order and we'll be ready. They look busy as fuck, but we'll do it. Duong. Duong. Thank you. Thank you. I'm thinking this is a store address because it's a Sunset Boulevard address with no apartment or nothing. So it's got to be a store on the Sunset Street, right? Yeah, it's a store. I've delivered to this guy before. It's easy. Ugh, fuck. Big curve. Hey there. Are you my customer? Thank you. Enjoy. All right. We didn't take that last Lala's order, but this one looks pretty good pretty far but nine dollars 25 cents 2.6 miles let's go this is really nice they're throwing us a second order for only 600 yards more for eight and a quarter let's do it man it's fucking crazy here they're never gonna be ready 
Alrighty guys. It's like 2019 in here, baby. Long time no see. I know, I took a couple months off. I got Marta and Angel. Marta and Angel. This one? No problem. No problem. Oh, it was very nice of them. They brought it out to me. Feels like we're closing in on the end of the shift because we're running out of battery. Both of these are stores. This first one is a tattoo shop. Look at this clusterfuck right here. Oh my God. Dude, what the fuck are these people doing? She almost fucking ran that guy over. Did you see that? Oh, look at this clusterfuck right here. Oh my God. Hi, Martha. Thank you, enjoy. It's a mess out here, guys. Arr, zombies. Arr. All right, next order. I think they screwed me on this second order. It's not 500 yards away. It's like miles away. I'm looking for Nick's on Beverly, but I don't see it. I guess this is it. What the fuck? Oh, Nick's. Nice, nice, like, impossible sign to see. Hey, for Angel. Angel thank, thank you. The end of the shift we did about almost 100 bucks it's 320 now we started at 12 30 so almost three hours there's another order coming in from doordash it looks like probably not going to take it yeah well yeah we're not going to take it we're just going to head home i'll give you guys a wrap up and that's the day most likely okay so while i am driving home i'm probably not going to take any more orders we're pretty low on battery we already did about 30 miles out here a little bit more about cryptocurrency and when i think about talking about it on the channel i want to talk about like umbrella principles like really basic principles so you know why i'm invested in it because i'm looking for the highest return and now the question of how like how do i decide what to invest in and how to invest and the main thing i did was i kind of studied all of the thought leaders in the space be it on youtube on twitter i mean really if you're into crypto you have to be on twitter because you kind of want daily information as much as possible and all the best analysts have twitter pages so my style of investing is to find people that i consider smarter than me basically you know somewhat guessing and making educated guesses and just following their advice so i should give you a list of everybody that i've narrowed it down to and that was a long process you know i went from being interested in certain creators and then kind of leaving them behind as i learned about things like bitcoin maximalism you know if you like bitcoin you got to like michael saylor and anthony pompliano but those guys are like maximalists meaning that they say you should just buy only bitcoin it's the, bitcoin is the best but the higher return coins happen to be the altcoins which you can't even call them alternative coins anymore these are coins with huge huge market caps oh shit, we got an order from doordash Anyhow, I'm going to turn off uh, DoorDash. But anyhow, so I'll put a list somewhere. I'll talk about it in another video specifically about who I like to follow. But generally speaking, I follow Uncomplication on YouTube. I follow Cryptos Are Us on YouTube and Twitter. I follow Benjamin Cowan on YouTube and Twitter. He's an amazing trend analyst. I follow, I don't know, a whole bunch of people. I should make a list. But learning how to study crypto was the first thing that I studied, kind of how... You know, I'm pretty good at learning things from scratch. And uh, I'll talk about that more as we go forward. But basically, I look for people that are smarter than me, and I listen to their advice. I decided I want to get a burger at Astro Burger. I've never taken you guys here. This is one of my old school favorite places. Can I get a bacon burger with, instead of the sauce, can I get just ketchup? And a larger. Say it, rest the same, yeah. And a large order of fries. And how about a Coke? We worked for about three hours. We did $20 on Uber. And it looks like we did $85 on DoorDash. So not bad, right? 85 plus 20, 105 bucks for three hours. I'll take that all day. I'm so used to the heat. I didn't even realize it was 91 degrees. It's a dry heat, it's nice. This place is really good. This is definitely like one of my old school favorite burger spots. Check that out, pretty nice. The fries are good too. 